growing up, there was probably only about 50% of me actually alive. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really strange. It's, it's such a complex subject, being transgender, mm. to explain. Mm -hmm. But essentially, just the, the science bit is that the, dem the template of the embryo when you're in the womb is female. It then goes through a washing process with various chemicals and that makes the changes. But with transgender people, where if you imagine being in a washing machine and the washing machine doesn't quite fill up, so you end up with that disparity between your body and your brain, brain. and you're locked in. And when I was young, I was aware that something wasn't quite When right. you say when you were young, I mean, how young? Oh, my earliest recollection, probably about even three, four, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But I didn't know it was gender. Yeah, yeah. I just knew that I didn't something fit my right. skin. Didn't, yeah. Yeah. You know didn't something I mean? happen with a lipstick or something? Yeah, that's right. My, my uh, grandma actually caught me playing with a lipstick mm -hmm. and she didn't so much tell me off in a nasty way, but she sort of pointed out the rules of pink and blue, you know, boys and girls. Girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. things, boys did another. Um, <clears throat> did you ever say anything as a child to anyone like, I don't feel, I feel different to other people? No, no. And, and the reason I didn't, I think, because I grew up in the 70s, yeah. I think we, we all pretty well, maybe not this side, <laughs> certainly, certainly yeah. this side. <laughs> we all remember the 70s, and it was all like Les Dawson, Danny Yeah, Lerou. yeah. The, yeah. Well, I can't imagine you as Jonathan working in a regional newsroom, mm. which wow. is so macho. It's yeah. really difficult to look at the, the old me. Mm. I accept it because, you know, you can't deny who, who you were as it was. And as for it such was. a long time. And for well. such a long time. Yeah. But for a lot of transgender people, it's quite difficult, Painful. you know, seeing the yeah, old yeah. skin, as it were. Yeah, yeah. And so at what point then, because you'd gone through yeah. years and years and years, you got married, had, had a lovely oh. boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, nobody knew, did they? You'd never no, discussed no. it with anyone. So what was the moment where you thought, I have to do this now? It actually hit me. Um, it started to get really bad around 40. I th mm. I'd always thought I, I could control it. And, um, Can I just ask, how did you control it? Because it was such a... How do you yeah. suppress that urge when it's so who you are? It's really difficult. It's, it's like um, holding your breath underwater. Yeah. And every now and again, I would come up for air, and I would do that by taking myself off on a weekend somewhere, just by myself, and, you know... And you live as, 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 a a, as a woman, yeah. Wow. But it's important to say, being transit is not so much about the clothes. The clothes are basically like a flag. They're mm. like a social yeah. indicator who you actually are. Mm -hmm. um, but it's actually just being out there and being accepted, I you know, for the, mm. for, the, for the real you. But you had a split life for a while, I didn't did. You? I came up with this I, crazy I, idea. I can't believe oh, you did this. Oh, do you know what? It's, it's like a Hollywood film. And looking back, it sounds <laughs> absolutely bonkers. So I came to the conclusion mm. um, that I didn't want to lose my family, didn't want to lose my friends, which happens to a lot of transgender and particularly people. particularly your son. Your son. And particularly yeah. my son. Didn't yeah. want to set her... How did your son react? He was, he was fine, he was, he was great, but mm. what, what, I, what I actually did was I decided to split my life in two, and yeah. I thought, I know, I'm have, have my cake and eat it. I'll spend my weekends as Jonathan in one city, yeah. and I'll live as the real me in Newcastle, mm. where things... So I Monday to Friday. Two yeah. lives, yeah. two cities, two separate oh. wardrobes, nobody knew each other, and that went on for, for five years until it basically got didn't to the... didn't people recognise you? No, this no. is why it was like sliding doors. You know, like the, 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 the film? film? Yeah, which sort of twist mm. yes, which on, on that. So I was running two lives parallel, and I'm sure you can all imagine what, you know, the sort of mental oh, pressures gosh. of juggling that, remember what you've said to someone and but all that was going But you finally told your son, didn't you? I did. And you told him before you had the Oh, operation. yeah, uh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, my, my son's 17 So what year now. was that, you told him? And that was last year. Yeah. And uh, that was the, the hardest part of the whole process from the, from the time I was a kid until, until that point, was telling my son, because mm. he is the apple of my eye. Mm, of and uh, I told him, and I said, look, I couldn't articulate it, so I had to write it down. I said, read this oh, letter, I'm going to sit on the park you. bench. He Thank came you. over and he said, it changes nothing. Oh, you know, oh, and he's been your all the way through. Yeah. You know, that, that oh. he's been such a rock for you. I am, I am super proud. Can I ask? Yeah. So what does he call you now? 
That, do you know what? That is actually a really interesting question. Yeah. There's a sort of awkwardness around that yeah. aspect, which I understand, because I'm a, a little bit awkward about it Can't as well. Can't dad. It's difficult, because yeah. when you get to Father's Day, and, you know, you <laughs> don't really work out. But equally, you know, I get on well with it, with, it, with his mum, yeah, and yeah, yeah. You, don't, you, you don't want to yeah. tread on, on her, her day. Day. So it's yeah. like a really difficult thing. The whole transgender thing is so complex. Yeah. So what yeah, have you decided on? We haven't, we've, we've got this um, sort of polite silence thing that. Oh. <laughs> but that'll probably come all the time. That'll come all okay. the time. Every, every day yeah, you're learning I'm very anyway. Yeah, I, what? I, th I think, you know, because he's been so good to me, I don't feel like I'm, I should be putting any pressure yeah, on him. Yeah, whatever, he, whatever he feels I... comfortable with. Sadly, we're coming near to the end. Yeah. I could chat to you all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so interesting <laughs> and you look amazing. Yeah, um, what would be your advice to anyone sitting at home who's living the life you used to live yes. of mm. not being able to fulfil? Yeah, I think, in, especially in this day, day and age, you know, there's nothing weird about it. It's, no, it's just a characteristic of being a human being. It's no mm. different from having freckles. Yeah. Well, maybe a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> but talk to somebody, you know, find somebody you can trust. Yeah. Talk it through with them, and you know a lot of people think these things, sort of things are a whim. Mm. That is, they're mm. not. They are. They are real. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces, and click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.